Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Luna, I hope you're all doing well and this afternoon I thought why not do a challenge video, I had nothing to do, I had a, well, a bit of spare time basically, which is a rarity, and I just thought yeah, let's do a challenge, so I had no ideas, I was having a little think to myself, and it was actually this car and this car in the background that gave me the idea, let's do a race themed challenge. So I think I'm going to call it the race livery challenge. Um, so basically it is show your race cars or cars with a race theme. So basically as long as the car, God, this chair really is getting squeaky. As long as you've got a, as long as your, your model car has a race theme. So I forget a bit of zoom on. That's probably a bit too much zoom. There we go. So you can see these in the background just about. Um, so it can be a full race car. It can be a real race car as in a real model of a race car. Or it can be race car themed. And you'll get what I want about as I go along. Because obviously some of the cars I'm going to be showing um, aren't real race cars. And some of them are. So that's it really. So if you've got model cars that have a race car livery show it or race cars or whatever so it's it's a pretty loose pretty loose challenge so i'll show this one first just because it's to hand this is something i opened up the other week and um i really think it's cool um it is the toyota corolla i believe is it? let's have a little look yeah 23 toyota corolla gr is that right gr looks like it so that'd be the first piece then. Second piece, just because it's to hand, is going to be another Hot Wheels, and it is going to be the A 2018 Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5. So we get some extra zoom on. Oh, we've already got the extra, that's too much zoom. There we go. It's all right. It's better. So again, this one's downstairs in my downstairs cabinet. And like I said, I'm not the biggest race car guy in the world. More of a muscle car guy, sort of custom uh, custom vans, hot rods, that sort of thing. But I do like the odd race liveried car. And this one is very cool. Hence why I bought it when I seen it. I thought it looked very cool. Got Ford there on the back. So that's going to be piece number two. And like I said, I don't know enough. I don't think this is a real race livery. It's probably a made up thing. Maybe I'm wrong. So you get the idea, it doesn't have to be a true race car. Uh, next piece again, it's going to be another Hot Wheels Premium. It's going to be the 1970 Rover P6 Group 2. And again, awesome piece. My father had a car like this when I was a youngster. It wasn't a Group 2 racer, but it was an original Rover P6 in what was like a Dragon Green, I believe. Um... Awesome cars. They, they, I think they had aluminium bonnets, maybe aluminium boots. I can't remember now. But they were a hefty car, especially for over in the UK. They are quite were quite a large car for back in the day. Weighty. But very cool. And uh, it's in the red, white and blue, which is good for the you American folk. So that is piece number three. Oh, there you go. It's got the Leyland. I never noticed that before. It's got the Leyland sign there, which is a cool, cool little nod. So that's piece number three. Piece number four, we're going to go with the Kaido house. It's going to come rolling past. So there you go. So as far as I'm aware of, <coughs> excuse me, this is a real race livery. They did race Datsun 510s in this livery. I don't know about the wagons, but I know they raced the more, the 510, uh, not the wagons, but the normal 510s. They did race in this livery. I can't remember the person. Was it Brock racing? I went wrong there. Um, I'm sure one of you lot in the uh, comments will tell me who used to race this livery, the BRE livery, but I know this was a real livery. But this is a cool piece. I have actually got the other Datsun, again, downstairs in my cabinet. The normal 510. I think it's a Pro Street, actually. But I thought I would show this one instead. There you go. Camera's trying to sort itself out. It's my phone 
I might have my phone, that's my alarm, my watch going off. So that's piece number four. Piece number five is going to be a matchbox. Got to get a matchbox in. I think it is an AMC. There you go, in the Dr. Peppers. So I could have called this the advertisement challenge, but it doesn't really matter. You get the idea. Um, yeah, cool piece. And so a little look, it should say. Uh, AMX Pro Stocker. And it's the same old thing, isn't it? As soon as you pick up a car, you suddenly remember other cars you wanted to show, but um, I haven't bought them up, so I'm not going to show them. This is a Toyota Supra, I believe. There you go, Toyota Racing. Supra 41, vintage matchbox, all that good stuff. Opening feature. Very basic, but very cool. Has the usual loads of matchbox suspension. You know me, got to show a few vintage pieces. And then sticking with the vintage pieces, we have got this little, I think this is a BMW M1, possibly. But again, got the Bosch on the top there, Bosch plugs. That was Pirelli. So very cool BP. Am I right? Yeah. M1. And again, those are suspension. Got a bit of dust on the inside of the windows. But that is an inside thing. Not a lot I can do about that, really. Uh, what have we got? Down to, so that's seven. That's what? Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, about nine pieces. This is a particularly cool piece. So this is a 1954 Lincoln Capri. Um, from obviously Mini GT, very weighty. And I learned something about this the other day, and I can't remember where I've seen it too. It might have been Langley's group, possibly. Anyway, can't remember now. But I know one of the one of the one of the other YouTubers I was watching. They were they were talking to the guy um, responsible for Mini GT. And again, I've forgotten his name, but he was saying that this is weighs. I think he said it weighs seventy grams, which is a very weighty piece. Um, they wanted to make it look bulky because that's, you know, like he said, American cars, big cars. And they did do a spectacular job. And I noticed on looking at this with a, with a torch earlier, but I don't think I can get it to come up my camera. Um, I'll try. But you can see the seats have actually got a little bit like wings, like early type style bucket seats. I would have thought this had had a bench seat back in the day. Now, I wonder if this is slightly different to the standard version of the green and, or sorry, yeah, yellow, sorry, and black. I wonder if the seats are slightly different in that to this, because I know also he said that it was a friend of his that he asked him to do some models. So he, in his friend from the UK, um, so this is the managing director of Mini GT was saying that his friend approached him and asked him if he could make his Lincoln race car. And uh, and then obviously that's where this came from. But whether this is based on his one or not, I'm just interested to know if the standard ones have got the same seats, whether they've got racing seats. It's a nice little a little detail that you don't really see that it shows the levels that Mini GT go to. But uh, anyway, here's a cool piece. I was wobbling on there. Lost track a little bit. And then the last piece is going to be one that I showed not all that long ago is back in its box but i will very quickly get it out so it just says mini gt obviously on the box it says super gt 2022 series and it is a nissan gtr nismo gt3 and i bought this because i just liked the way it looked the livery and this just the finish on the car is uh which my camera's not doing it justice let's see if we can get a bit of extra zoom on just bear with me a second and try and get up some of the detail on this car so it's just beautifully done it looks to me like it's in like a like a black chrome on the outside so you've got all the livery now as far as i'm aware of this is based on the real car or at least i believe or so but if it's not, I apologise, but it is beautifully done. 
and this is why I bought it. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of this particular car. I like Skylines, but I'm not overly keen. I don't know what it is. Nothing, nothing against it. I just prefer the older ones. That's all it is. But this is awesome. See, the rear lights there, the diffusers. It has got roll cage detail. It looks like them holes are actually into the glass or through the glass, which is a nice detail like the real one. Probably ventilation, I expect. The wheels and tyres are great. Just an awesome, awesome piece. And the underneath is interesting, very plain. But see the way it's... The tyres are so much, it's so low. So, so low. And I mean the road going versions, I actually know, so I knew, I should say I knew, so I knew somebody that had one of these the road going version of the GTR and they are very very quick very very quick cars especially when you see them up in person but so uh, this thing being it's the race version must just be something else but uh, anyway so bit of a weird challenge I know have a go don't have a go you know that's all cool um, but if you feel like you want to have a go have a go it's great to participate it's a great way to join in the community so to speak you know uh you come across other channels when you when you uh you know watch some of the other channels that have done their ver you know their their versions of this challenge and it's just a good way to to get involved but anyway again I'm, I'm waffling on but so with that please like share subscribe stay tuned for more challenge videos vintage matchbox mondays episodes premium cars and like i always say the occasional custom because at the moment i just don't seem to be making them again at the moment i just don't seem to have any well just don't seem to have anything in me at the minute for that's that's neither here nor there and oh yeah don't forget vintage matchbox mondays episode this week coming because i will be uh doing the prize draw giveaway but anyway i'll see you all soon thanks for watching take care